Are you kidding me? I'll take that deal. Shoo, I look good in high heels. Hey guys, and welcome to the first, will you press the button? Now, you may have seen them done a million or times before with challenges and ridiculous things you have, you may have seen or may not seen. I will be part of that trend. Shh, don't tell him, don't tell anybody. Uh, but this will be my first time playing it. We'll live forever, but you will live alone. That's a hard question because it can't, you can live forever. It, I don't know, it's talking about living forever but be uh, like if you get shot, you will die. So it's not talking about immunity, like or regeneration. Like will you will regenerate and live on forever, or is it just talking about just being healthy and living on until the end of time? I think if I had somebody a, somebody else to live with forever along with me, I think I'll, I'll survive with my in, uh, with my sanity somewhat intact. But it means living alone forever for an eternity until the end of time I don't think personally I do not think I will be able to survive under those conditions no it's just you'll be too insane no I will not press the button don't no it doesn't matter because there's no way you'll survive intact you can teleport but every time you do some everybody in the world somebody in the world dies I don't know about that. The odds are so against you for you to get it right. Cause then if you do, somebody innocent might die. Maybe your family, a friend, a loved one, or an innocent kid, or uh, an innocent man, a woman, or child may die because you teleported, because you didn't want to take a car or anything. Sure, you may end up killing a bad guy once in a while, but the chances of getting it every time, not only does the uh, does it ch uh, ch uh, likely chance of somebody innocent dying increase every time you kill a bad man or a woman or a leader of a horrible organization, they will die. But every time somebody of those people die, a chance, the chance of killing innocents increase. No, no, I will not press the button. I will not kill an innocent man, child, or woman. What? What? 60% of you did? Oh my god! Right, uh, one of the comments says the wording of it makes, it makes me cautious because somebody, meaning you can die as well, is not saying all there's out there saying somebody in the world will die and you are somebody in this world so I may die if I teleport draw things exactly how they look in your magic but you can never make one of it of course I will press the button are you kidding me to be able to not only draw what I dream of don't some of you have like those epic dreams that have like for me personally, from personal experience, I have dreams where I have lit, lit, led people through amazing great battles, through amazing worlds and uh, fantasy worlds that you can only see in movies or even dream. I would love to be able to paint and draw exactly how those dreams go. I wouldn't care if I couldn't uh, make money off of them. Hell, I'll put it in my own house and be that my own art make off money off of that no yes i will press a button any day 100 percent of the time i'll do it good we're famous but you will never find true love Ooh. oh man oh the reason i'm struggling i'm struggling with this question is that would it be awesome to be famous yeah it would be awesome are you kidding me? Having millions of people watching you and like knowing who you are, but never find true love. Sure, you sure you can date. You'll probably be dating 
woman all around. But you'll never be able to find that one person who you never find that one person who you can share all your intimate thoughts, intimate thoughts and dreams and hopes and fears. Person you you will never you'll never be the same person in your bed. The same person that you truly love with all your heart and all your being. You'll never be able to find that one person. That is devastating. No amount of money in the world, no amount, doesn't matter how famous you are, doesn't matter how rich or powerful you are, me not able to find who you truly belong with, find that one person you can truly love with all your heart, knowing that they love you for all you are, for all your greatness and all your faults. And doing the same for that person to love them regardless of their faults what they for what they're not or and for what they are that is terrifying so no i will not press the button no matter how famous or rich i get no not worth it for me i may be old school hey look 64 people think the same way i do that's good to hear Any girl you want, but whatever she wears, you will have to wear it too. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'll take that deal. Shoo, I look good in high heels. Saying that because I did a walk, walk in the, it, it was two years ago. Every man have to that will participate in the walk would have to wear high heels. And we raise, we raise uh, not only awareness for the mistreatment or for against the mistreat, mistreatment of women, whether it be physically, emotionally, or any other kind of abuse, but we would also have to wear high heels. It was kind of like walk a mile in a person's shoes, but we all actually did that. Uh, we did it, and I did walk in high heels. My God, my feet were killing me. Oh, my God. And... Ladies, my respect for you, because walking in high freaking heels, it was about four or five inches that heels were, oh my god, my feet were killing me by the end of it. I don't know how you ladies do it. All my respects to you. But shoot, I look good in high heels. Mm -hmm. You best believe that. I have the legs for it too. Boy. So, And wearing a dress? Psh, please, I have no... <laughs> I have no embarrass. I, I don't get embarrassed easily anymore. I have no dignity left in my body. Are you kidding me? Living the life that I left lived so far with the type of people that I have with in my life, and the brother that I have in my life. Shoot, I don't have an ounce of dignity left in my body. So shoot, get any to have to be in a relationship with any girl. I will take it. Sure, yeah, hell yeah. I don't care. Cause it just wears like let's say she wears a dress or be a dress for men. So I don't care. Be my size, so hell yeah, I don't wear it. Shoot, I look good. I'm an idiot. <laughs> See people agree with me. I'm not alone but in being weird. Don't judge me. Probably already too late, but shoot, don't judge me. Right? And speaking in language. But no one wants to read or listen to what you have to say unless you speak languages that you were originally taught. So, they will, the only people who will want to listen to me are like English and Spanish. Because those are two original languages that I know. And if I can write, write, read, and speak any other language, cost of not being stuck to any other person in that language but it doesn't say i cannot convince them after I speak to them in english or spanish that we can talk in their native language ah see get around the question because it never says you cannot convince them 
to speak in their language after you're done speaking them in Spanish or in English, in my case. So that means I can, I'll be able to buddy in their language anyways. So th that, that would be pretty cool because I've always been interested in other people, other cultures, languages, languages, yeah, languages, and culture and their readings and how they write stuff, their mythologies, their belief systems, and I would love to learn many, many languages, but I think I'm too dumb to do it. To be end up doing taking other whatever. Uh, but so to be able to do this, to not only speak any language, to properly read and write that language, that'll be awesome. Are you kidding me? Yes. Because again, it doesn't say anywhere that you can't convince that person to speak in their language after you're done speaking their original language. It doesn't say anywhere that you can't. So yes, I am lawyer. Ooh. Oh, I'm your mother. What's the greatest show ever? Um, I will leave this here. I love this kind of questions. And it's always kind of fun to not only like rationalize the questions, but also seeing what, how people answer. But I think next time I will up the ante. I will. I won't say what I will do, but I will up the ante. So, this has been me, Luis, trying to answer impossible questions that there's no right or wrong answers to. Thank you so much for listening to my idiot idiocracy. Thank you so much. And, as always, care guys. Bye.